episode number 20, A Marvelous Idea. Sandokan and his pirates of Montpresum are leaving Nayash, headed for new adventures. They are on their way to Labuan. Thank you for your help, Chief. I'm sure we'll be seeing you soon. And when we meet again, Lady Mariana should be with us. At least we can only hope that she will. I wish you a safe and rewarding journey to Labuan. Yeah. Don't forget, you promised you'd come back so we could have that arm wrestling match, right? For sure, Etla. I can hardly wait. Come back to our island anytime, friends. Goodbye! Thank goodness those fishermen found San Biglione and nursed him back to health. I guess he was in pretty bad shape after he slipped away from Baron William's ship and drifted alone at sea for such a long time. Aye, ah, and I sure missed him when Lord James tricked the rest of us into going off to India. It's good to be together again. <clears throat> If Lord James forces Lady Mariana to marry that evil Baron William before we can get to Labuan, I'm the one who'll have to take the blame. Don't be so hard on yourself, San Biglione. When the Baron invaded our home island of Montpresum, you guarded Lady Mariana the best you could. But Sandokan really loves her, and now they're separated. Oh, I'm sure everything will work out for that pair eventually. I will just return to Lord James's mansion and then work out some way to get her back to Sandokan. I'm afraid that's easier said than done, Yanez. Coming aboard! Aye, aye, sir! Watch out below! Is everything secure up there, Malco? Aye, aye, sir! Mm. Ah, nicely done, Malco. At last, we're off to Labuan. I've been thinking about our plans, men. What if we drop anchor here on Kalina, work out a plan of attack, and then sail the rest of the way to Labuan? Aye, that'd give us a chance to choose the best strategy. We want to plan a big surprise for Lord James and Baron William when we attack them. Captain Jiro, let Malco take the wheel for a while. I want you to signal our plans to Yanis. Aye, aye, sir. Sandokan says we'll be stopping on Kalina, and we're to be on our guard. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm way ahead of you, Yanez. Me and old Bertha here are ready just in case the Baron turns up here taking a little pleasure cruise. Sorry, mates. I guess Bertha can't wait. She went off on her own. False alarm, men. As you were, get back to your stations. No harm done, San Biglione. I guess we're all a little jumpy thinking about that battle at Labuan. Meanwhile, back at the mansion of Governor Lord James... Ah! Mariana and Baron William, you're here! I was beginning to wonder what could be keeping you two lovebirds. Uncle, please stop that. Everything is on schedule. Yes, Baron, huh? all the arrangements for your wedding are coming along nicely. Excellent, Lord James. Glad to hear it. The decorations have been ordered, the cook has planned the menu, and the dressmaker is ready for your fitting, Mariana. Now stop that! I have something to say, Uncle. That is, if there's anyone here who cares to listen to me. Hmm? What's this? Huh? When I marry, it will be to the man I respect and love, not to a pompous braggart I can't even tolerate. I can't believe you really mean that, Mariana. No, of course she doesn't, Baron William. Yes, I do. My heart belongs to Sandokan. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh. Sounds as if she really won't accept me. Ever. Stop worrying. She'll come around soon. She'll marry you this weekend. I guarantee it. So this is Kalina Island. Can I have some shore leave? I wonder if there are any cute lady parrots here. So far, there's no sign of the Baron's fleet following us, Yanis. 
But getting on their island and reaching Mariana in the governor's mansion is another matter entirely, and more difficult. I say we dock close by the mansion, load up our cannons, and blast the whole place to smithereens. Or ambush them in the forest! Afraid not, lads. That wouldn't be a wise move. Mariana might get hurt, and there are many innocent natives there. That's it. You've given me a good idea. If we were dressed as local natives of the island, Lord James might let us honor his niece in some way. That might work. It would seem feasible because the natives here think the world of Lady Mariana. They call her their pearl. If we staged a ceremony like that, we'd all be together and Mariana would be within reach. But first one of us has got to contact Lord James to arrange it. I'd like to do it, but they know me almost as well as they know you, Sandokan. We can't do it. Since scouting is my specialty, I'd be proud to volunteer. Meanwhile, the power-hungry Raja of Sarawak is setting off on a secret mission. Very good. Now, men, attention! Present her! Sir! Oh, never mind. At ease, men. They need more drill. Stop that racket. Can't you see I'm eating? Sorry, your slothfulness. It's that clumsy new recruit again. I'll drill him all afternoon if I have to. He'll either shape up or ship out. Now, really, Major, you work too hard. But remember your gracelessness. We're due to reach the Bulian Islands today, and we should be ready for battle. Oh, you're such a worrywart. You know these natives are the most helpless we could find. Real Don't. pushovers. Yes, your ampleness. My plan is to plunder the most defenseless islands first and then work my way up the food chain until I am able to achieve my ultimate goal. Hmm. Hmm. Tell me again. I never tire of hearing it. What is my goal? Why, to crush Sandokan and totally dominate all the islands in the South China Sea. Precisely. Land uh, oh, Polina Island! Oh, how I love being me. <laughs> <laughs> and we surrender to you. I am the Raja of Sarawak, and I hereby claim the island of Bulina as my own. I am your new and absolute ruler. If you have any objections, tell me about them now. Nor forever hold your peace. Just as I thought, everybody's peaceful. For many years now, I've been waiting for that pirate Sandokan to be destroyed before asserting my powers. After all, I want to be fair to the lad. He is the rightful heir to the throne of Sarawak, and as such, he does present a certain threat to me. So to be fair, I'd like to see him dead. <laughs> There's nothing like combat for working up an appetite. Now, what's for lunch, Chief? Very good. You've done an excellent job. No one could tell they were not native watercraft. If we're to pass as local natives, every detail must be correct. The secret is to concentrate so that you become as one with your weapon. I think I understand you now, Serana. Now don't forget to follow through. First take a deep breath and then throw it. How about that? I really did it. Not bad, mate. You've mastered another weapon. Maybe you can show me a thing or two when I get back from Labuan. I'd like to learn how to do that. 
Your disguise is excellent, Patan. You should be fine. You could even fool a real native. Let me go with them, Santa Cam. All I have to do is find a native costume and I'll be all set. Well, let me see, Crackers. Why not go with Patan disguised as a parrot? Yeah, a brilliant idea. That'll fool them. I'll blend right in with the scenery. They'll think I'm a real parrot with a real wooden leg. Well, you two, if you're going to reach Lord James's mansion by tomorrow, you'd better be on your way. Good luck to you and safe journey. Oh, it's kind of spooky, isn't it, Patan? I mean, being right here on Governor Lord James's island at all. Now, don't forget, Crackers, I'm not Patan anymore. I'm a Labuan native. And you're, <laughs> I guess you're a friendly parrot. Yeah, and I've been practicing to be one all my life, so I'm good at it. Crackers. Crackers. Come on, let's go. In Victoria Palace on Labuan, Terwilliger from the Hall of Records was excited. I've made the most remarkable discovery. Just wait till Lord James sees what I found. It's all here in black and white. Hmm. Well, speak up. What can I do for you? Terwilliger from the Hall of Records. I'd like to see the governor. He's not in today. Lord James is at his mansion and not to be disturbed. That means we can do more important things. Oh, no. That means I'll have to go to his mansion. The governor is very busy planning the wedding of Lady Mariana. But I've really got to see him now. Couldn't I be of service to you, sir? Out of the question, but thanks anyway. The governor asked me to do some very important research on his behalf. I'd better take it to his mansion because he said I was to deliver it to him personally. Huh. That young upstart blew over my nice housey. Bad man. Everything I told you is true. Listen. <laughs> By pretending to be members of your tribe, we wanted to help Lady Mariana. Lord James and Baron William are going to force Lady Mariana to marry the Baron. The wedding is planned for today. Lies, lies, nothing but lies. He's a spy. No, wait. Spare them. Set them free. Lady Mariana is our friend, and she has told us of her love for your leader, Sandokan. We will do anything to help her, the Pearl of Labuan. We will guide you and your noisy bird to the mansion of Lord James. We would be most grateful for your help. Yeah, your chiefness, you got a real class act here, but I'm glad I'm no longer part That's of it. That's fine work you've done. Not bad, Sandokan. It's almost ready to go, and I've been thinking, sir. What if things aren't going so well for Patan over on Labuan? Maybe I should just paddle over there and see how he's doing. No, Malco. Patan will be fine. You know him. He can look after himself. Why, on a good day, he's almost as masterful a fighter and troublemaker as you are, mate. <laughs> almost. <laughs> That's the key word there, Captain. It means nearly close, but not quite. Hey, come on, mate. The work's almost done. Let's go for a quick dip in the briny. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
You go ahead and enjoy yourself. I'll finish up, but watch out. Crocodiles may be lurking along here. Be careful. Don't be a scaredy cat now. Go if a crocodile starts nibbling at my toes, I'll give him this. You be careful out there. Watch what you're doing. Looks like you're in good hands here, San Leone. Yes, Serana's verbal potion has worked wonders. Thank you, Serana. It's as good as new. In that case, San Leone, come on and play. <laughs> so, you want a tussle, eh, Malco? Sure, I think a little exercise might be good for you. That's mighty thoughtful of you, Malco. Let's get going. <laughs> I'd say you were back in fighting form again. That's enough for today. Oh, let's make it two out of three. Here, I'll even help you up. Ready to go, Malco? Jiro's <laughs> <laughs> in trouble. Stop that! Leave me alone! Help is on the way, Captain! <laughs> Sandokan, we're coming! I hope you didn't mind me spoiling your fun, Sandokan. Oh, you old sea dog, I owe you one. I think we've all had enough exercise for one afternoon. What do you say? Hey, hey, hey Sandokan, can I c c come down now? Please, Mariana, we need to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk. Huh? Never mind, I'll get it. Please, Please excuse, excuse us, us, little pearl. pearl. What's going on here? It's you. Yes, some local natives at your service, Lady Mariana. We wish to welcome you home. How nice. I'm so glad to see you. Please. Right, you've said in. your piece. Now you can all go back to your straw huts. Ah! Who's that silly guy in a silly uniform? Ah! Oh! I hope you'll forgive our little pet. He doesn't know what he's saying. Well, I'm sure he means well. Now go. Please, sir, if I may be so bold, we'd like to see Lord James. This is highly irregular. What'll we do? Well, really, Baron, they don't yes, mean dear. any harm, and we need some fun. Oh, yeah. uh, festivities for our wedding. Oh, yes, if it'd make you happy, Lady Mariana. Anything for you. Yes, I'll take them to see the governor. Where are all you precious things? Right over there, sir. In those coffers, our entire fortune. <laughs> this is the part I like best. This will do nicely. That old upstart Lord James would prefer that I set on my thumb back on Kim Baloo. If he had his way, I wouldn't be able to have any fun like this at all. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know why I'm worrying about Lord James. I don't need his approval, now do I? Now capture Labuan, change its name to Rajaland, and then move my palace there. <laughs> it's time for Lord James to retire permanently. <laughs> No, come back. Don't leave me all alone here in the dark. Very well, Baron, if you insist. But you know how busy I am. A governor's work is never done, they say. Thank you. This will only take a moment. It is great-hearted of you to see us, Governor. We are told Lady Mariana is to wed soon. Yes, this weekend, to be sure. We would like to make a formal request that we be allowed to give a celebration. Ah, for the Pearl of Labuan! Ah, Pearl of Labuan! Oh, ah, Quaint! Think of that! A pagan ritual! Native food, native music, and a wonderful young dancer. Well, sure, I'm not sure I... A wedding party! Think about it. Ah, Keep that ah. part quiet. And we must not forget the man who has been our kind benefactor. Above all, we want to honor you, Lord James. What's that? You want to honor me, you say? Splendid, just splendid. Now, I see that a celebration would be just a thing. We'll hold a great ceremony on the eve of the wedding. I must prepare a suitable speech for the occasion. A speech? Bravo! I can hardly wait! Tabby, Patan was here and talked Uncle into having a big celebration. I'm sure that means that Sandakan is alive and he'll rescue me. Please, Lady Mariana, it's time we talked. 
Wait there, Pussycat. I admit I've been boorish lately. Please say you'll forgive me. No, no, Baron. It is I who should be apologizing. Yes, I've uh, been rude oh, and unreasonable, uh, Baron William, and oh. I'm sorry now. It's those pirates. They've had me all confused. Well, what about Sandakan? Do you still love him? Oh. Or is it that you just don't know? It's all become so clear. <gasps> clear? What's clear? I want to go through with it, Baron. No more waiting. Let's get married this weekend. Whoa! <sighs> I can't believe she really said that. She wants to marry me. So, we're going to have our celebration as planned. Well done, Patan. You managed to talk them into having it. Yes, Sandokan. Lord James, swallow the bait. He <laughs> thinks we're local natives. Good. You've done well. I want to thank your tribe for helping us. Patan and I make a good team. Well, if the two of you are ready, we should make sail. <laughs> you got two guys sure have a lot of flowers. Sandokan, why so many? Wait and I'll show you, Crackers. Could you think of a better way to hide our weapons, Crackers? Achoo! I think I'm having a hay fever attack! <laughs> there. Feeling better, old chum? You'd better get over your hay fever or you'll have to swim to lab one. Very funny, short stuff. Thanks for the sympathy. Permission to bite the captain's nose? <laughs> Permission denied, Crackers. Just settle down. We're all in this together. All right, lads, listen up. We're about to depart on our most important mission to date. That's right, Yanez, the most important. We're on our way. For Sandal Cannon and Glory! For Sandal Cannon and Glory! For Sandal Cannon and Glory! For Why are Sandokan's men in disguise? What new tricks are they planning to use against the evil Raja of Sarawak who stole Sandokan's rightful throne? To find out the answer, tune in to the next episode of Sandokan.